Hello everybody, this is MF, and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda, if you're enough time. Uh, we're here at the Hyrule, uh, we're in Hyrule Field, um, at night. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate something. So, uh, you, um, when you're out here on the grass, uh, the skeletons will spawn, um, as you can see. Uh, but if you stay on the road, um... You'll be safe from skeletons. Um, for some reason I couldn't think of the proper name for it, but anyway. Um, uh, we're not gonna do the game today, by the way. The, um, the Slingshot Droopy game. Uh, I'll be saving that for when I have more a bigger wallet, which will be fairly soon. Um... At 10 um, um, of these golden sculptors. We have four already, so we only need six. So, uh, anyway, let's uh, see the sun come back up. Nights doesn't last very long here, it has to be said. Um, we're just gonna continue the story today, I think. Um, I've done pretty much everything I want to do in. Well. We could visit the Temple of Time before we go to the castle, but, um, anyway, let's, um, oops, well, I'm gonna get some money before I head in. I think that's alright. Um, I don't really need the money, but I'll get them anyway, if I have some. Uh, so... This place here is bustling with stuff, and uh, we'll be doing some stuff here later. Uh, for now, though, let's go to the uh, Temple of Time, where we will be um, going at some point. Uh, we're just going to visit the place now so that we have it out of the way. Temple of Time. Um, there's nothing we can do here now. We have to come back here with all the spiritual stones. Um, he who owns three spiritual stones stands with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. So, you can come here with the um, Ocarina you have now, the, um, the Fairy Ocarina. You have to have the Ocarina of Time to open the way to what it's inside, which I'm sure you already know what's inside, most of you anyway. But, um, anyway, let's, um... Let's head to the castle. I think there's a few things we can get on the way. But anyway, here we have um, Harald Castle. Uh, the owl is here. Well, as you can see in the tree. Hello. So, his head is upside down. But yeah, the princess is in the, um, in the castle, obviously. I think we'll play up until Zelda today. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, no, we're good. So, um... He doesn't really say anything interesting. He just says that, oh, you have to talk to the princess, basically. So, um... Uh, let's head up to the, um... Castle. Um... Uh... Okay, cool. Um... We'll figure out eventually. Um... I think it's better to come here at night, but I don't think it really matters. What do you have to say, Nam? I mean, we're going now, Navi, please! What do you think I'm doing? Man, this fairy sometimes, dude. I wish the, I wish the AI uh, of the fairy was a little smarter, honestly, and could kind of detect where you are. I mean, if you are in the area of the Hyrule Castle, why would she even... Doesn't make any sense. But it's an old game. So... It's alright. I, I understand. Stroll into this and get out. No. It might have to be night, maybe. Or... 
Anyway, uh, here's Talon. <clears throat> mumble, mumble. Welcome, our ranch is so fun. Come and take a look around. Well, so he's in the way. Uh, we have to push these uh, bar barrels. Uh, we have to push these um, these crates uh, over to here so that um, yeah, we can jump into the hole that's over there. You saw it. Um, well, I think we'll just keep going. Um, let's talk to one of the guards. Hello. Um, they will throw us out. That's good. Um, so, once we're back here, um, Malin will be here. Oops. Wrong button. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere on the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. <laughs> oh yeah, if you look for him, I'll give you, the, uh, give you this. Uh, I've been incubating this egg very carefully. So she's gonna give us an egg. Um, it's a weird egg, I guess. What's so weird about it exactly? I, I, I actually don't know. I, I don't know why this is considered a weird egg. That's weird to me, I'll tell you that. Anyway, uh, yeah, some of these trees will have... Um, Oh. That was a weird thing. Um, not the Skulltilla, but the... Uh, well, the, uh, the, the wolf uh, howling and... Um, and also the... Um, Malon, the Malon. And also Malon um, starting to sing at the same time. It was kind of a weird thing, but anyway. Uh, let's continue go back up. Um, I don't know if the tree up here um, Next to the castle and the castle courtyard has um, Is the courtyard I feel like this is the courtyard like this bit just outside the, um, the Castle just outside the moat. I feel like this is the I, I maybe not I could be the courtyard, I don't know, but I feel like this tree has a... Okay, this tree does not have a golden skull to her. That's what I thought it was, but anyway. Uh, the egg's gonna hatch now with the crawling of the, the rooster. Have to wait. Yeah, so it goes pretty quickly. Um, what button? Hello? Hell? I don't know why that didn't work. Anyway, um, just uh, target him and use the cuckoo. What in tarnation? Can a person get a little shot out around here? Hey man, what's up? You get that sleep out of your eyes? What's up? Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lawlon Ranch. I went on to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here and read to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. What? Malon's looking for me? I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up so bad leaving Malon behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. Well, bye-bye, Mario, I guess. I. He looks like Mario. I, I think everybody says that, right? Everybody says, oh, he looks like Mario, and yeah, I guess he kind of does. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and um, push these crates. Um, I think I could just jump to it from here. No, okay. I need to push it entirely over. I thought I thought you could just skip it, but no, that's not the case. Just fine, grab it. Thank you. Alright, I think, um, it, I don't think it matters when you go into the, um, I mean, the, the, the place inside might be the courtyard. I don't know what this is called then. Um, but we're gonna push this into place, and then we jump over and crawl inside. So let's see, is this the courtyard? Yeah, okay, so this is the courtyard. Fair enough. Um, sneaking section. 
That works for us, right? Wait. We can't use our sword here? I mean, I... I guess there's no reason to use your sword here, but... It's interesting that you can't. Anyway, um... Once he moves inside to the middle, I can just roll bass. And this guy... We don't have to go over. Well... He moves a little weird, but... There we go. I don't need the coins. It's alright. This section isn't really that difficult, but you know, this is, um... You just have to be observant and see where they are, where they're facing and all that. So, you should be okay. And also, don't be too hasty. Let them walk a little bit before you move on. Um, where do I typically go here? Yes. I guess it doesn't really matter. Woo! Barely made it. Alright. Not too much of... Too much, too much, not too much trouble there. There we go. Uh, here's Zelda. Before we do that, though, um, take a look at that. It's Mario and Peach. Thought there was another picture in there, too. Yeah, it's Yoshi. Look at that, it's Yoshi. And over here. Oh, you can throw a bomb in there, by the way, I think. And something funny will happen, but. Anyway, let's talk to Zelda. Here she is. Who? Who are you? How do you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then you are... Are you from the forest? Then, then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? Yes. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were be bellowing over the land of Hyrule. Billowing? Is it supposed to be billowing or bellowing? Are those two words different? I, I suppose it could be. But suddenly a ray of light shot out of the forest, part of the clouds and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought it might be the one. You might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away in my store and didn't properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link. Strange. Sound somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you a secret of the... I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone, okay? <laughs> Throwback to Zelda 1. The legend goes like this. I believe you can just lay down your controller at this point because I think the text goes automatically. Um, it feels like she's just gonna repeat the story from the Great Deku Tree, but I do believe that this is different, but it should be. Why would the game just repeat the story so soon after telling it in the f first place? I'm pretty sure this is different, but... Yeah, the Temple of Time. I don't think uh, the Great Dekutri mentioned the Temple of Time. Although, maybe he did and I just forgot. Anyway, there's a lot of story in the beginning of the game. Which is fine. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which the uh, you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect the three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the Royal Seed keeps along with this legend. With this legend the Ocarina of Time. <gasps> Title drop! Yeah, sure. That's great. I forgot to tell you, I was spying through this window just now. 
The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize the man in there, the man in black. Sure, I'll look at him. There he is. That's Ganondorf. The man in black. So here's a Gerudo. Which is a place we'll go to later. The Gerudo Desert. Not entirely looking forward to that, but it should be okay. They must symbolize that man. The dark clouds. And then he glances over. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have an idea, any idea what we're planning yet. Ah, uh, the, um, the naivety of children. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy, but I can sense that man's evil intentions. Mm -hmm. What Gandorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones protect who can protect Hyrule. Please. Sure. Thank you. I I'm afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate you have come. We must not let Gandalf get the Triforce. I will protect Orkin of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then we'll defeat them. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. So we get Zelda's letter. Um, which we can... Yeah, it's... Yeah, Zelda's autograph. Um, more more a signature than autograph, but yeah. Um, anyway, uh, that's it. Okay, so Impa's here now. Um... Let's talk to Impa. I haven't even equipped my ocarina, actually. So she's of the Sheikah, which is another tribe um, that lives in Hyrule. Um, I am heading out on a big adventure, that's true. Alright, so... We're gonna get the... Oh, is it the C-Sticks? I think it's the C-Sticks, right? So I just used the D-pad, because I've mapped it to the D-pad, because this controller's, um... Control sticks are pretty sensitive. Um, I feel like they're sensitive for old games more than newer games, because I don't really have that issue with Celeste and stuff like that. And Cave Story, actually, if that matter. Actually, a little bit uh, Cave Story. Actually, yeah. A little bit. Anyway, uh, let's play the song. I think I have a Nintendo 64 USB controller, so I could use that if I really wanted to. That would make this experience a little bit more authentic, too, for me, but... Eh, it doesn't really matter. It's okay. So we learned Seth's lullabies. That's the first song. We'll be learning on, you know, our second song pretty soon, actually. Um, and our third song. We'll be learning two new songs pretty soon, but we're back in Hyrule Field. Um, I think, um, yeah, that's Death Mountain. So we'll be going there next. So we're going to visit the Gorons. Um, and uh, her village as well, which is at the foot of it, Kakariko Village. Uh, we'll be doing some stuff there for sure. Man, I can't say I'm looking forward to the Water Temple. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Um, I struggled last time. I didn't struggle a lot, but I struggled a little bit. Um, we're not going to Kakariko Village uh, yet, though. Um, instead, uh, we're gonna end here, and next time, we're going to Lawlon Ranch, which lies over there, in that little circle at the very, very center, but close to the center of Hyrule Field. So, yeah, next time, we're going to Lawlon Ranch. So, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time for more The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. See you then. Bye-bye.